free-flowing dust-free polymer-based powder for conductive thermoplastic uh, solutions. Um, my name is Daniel Freund, I'm a joint CEO in the company, and I guess, yeah, a little bit about the company. Uh, the company was established by my grandfather, almost 80. Just, just stay in the light. Stay in the light. Yeah. I like the dog. I like carbon. Um, so the company was established uh, almost 80 years ago by my grandfather. Uh, when my father joined the company, he designed it as it is today, which is a combination of uh, solution for different industries. Uh, my sister and myself are running the company at the moment, and we are focusing in both ways, which is uh, developer, developing and, and market solutions. Uh, this is a very easy slide for me to describe what we are doing. In one hand, we help and support different industry in the market which is building plastics, uh, cosmetics, different application. In each one of them, we, we offer color and additive solution, different way from trading to uh, solutions. We have our color and uh, product lab developed, so we, we actually design solution for our customers. Um, very different one from a solution for agrochemical uh, to a coating for plastic, it doesn't matter as long as it is a color and additive, this is our, our niche. We have a technology solution, so we support solution from milling, dissolving, and different. Um, when we started, and it was a trading company for pigments, we, we buy and we sell, but then we understand that we, we are missing something, especially in a small market in Israel. So we. Uh, we start to mix pigments, and that was uh, 70 years ago. And we just mix white with black to get gray, and so on. And later, during the years, we found out that we, this is what we want. We want to uh, break those agglomerate, those basic um, bundles of pigments, dyes, and additives, and just to have better approach to the market. And this is what we are trying to do uh, with the Tubal for the last three, four years. Uh, during this, we develop different products that we offer to the market, which are dispension, suspension for, uh, for uh, water-based, epoxy, polyurethane, rubber, doesn't matter, different from universal to a specific one. We do it in a liquid phase, and we also do it in a dry blend. And this dry blend is maybe one of our uh, biggest advantage. It is only mixing uh, pigments. Uh, but during those long years of experience, we, we found out that we have some know-how and we understand how to use it better. So the Floma mix, it's, it's, a, it's a mixer. And the Premix, it's another uh, solution where we bring customer uh, material, customer additives or customers raw materials. And I will explain a little bit about those two. I mean the solid and the liquid uh, and those two will be will allow me to uh, explain a little bit ab about our solution for the two bulb uh, into plastic. So the first one is liquid. Uh, F stands for flow mine, the liquid straightforward. Uh, we have been developed that 20 years ago and it is proven technology for, I would say, all thermoplastic. Simple liquid solution for different application, extrusion, uh, injection, roto molding, and really big variety of, uh, of, uh, of polymers from engineering to commodities one. And we wanted to use the tubal and to incorporate it. Definitely viscosity was a big issue and dispersion was a big challenge, but we've been working it for a long time. So we took what we know, which is uh, the, 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 our know-how on dry blend, different high shear powder mixing tools, uh, the liquid preparation, which we all know, and the dissolving, milling, and so on. We took our know-how in raw materials, mainly the additives, which additive can help us to have a better performance and better sensibility of, of the liquids. And we took 
the tools that we have uh, in the lab, which is compounding, injection molding machine, and some press. And those were the, our playground. Uh, this is how we started. The first product, actually, if last year we present few products. Uh, this year we're gonna present only two. The first one is the, the compound, because we found out few great opportunities. And we use our flick with technology in the compounder, and we measure the difference between using the flick with as a, as a material, base material, and then the, the powder itself, and we found out some nice uh, solutions. Um, from the rest of the presentation, you will see this kind of a show, uh, this kind of a slide, which is a sample and the measure device, so it's gonna be very simple from one on. Uh, in this sample, we took polypropylene with 0.5. The carrier was our flick, flick width. We compounded, we pressed it, and we received relative good results. Um, later on, we tested with ABS, same, same solution or same technical solution, the flick width as a carrier base with all, all the additives needed in order to make the right compounding. And we measure all the time can we use straightforward to ball in the powder? What will be the difference if we use the flick with as a powder as a base material? That was always our idea. Of course, the two ball as it is to use the compounder is it's a challenge or almost impossible because of handling. And when we made this, this basic handling, this basic uh, liquid ice with the flick with, then we can do a lot of things from easy mixing. It was much more easier, so it's a, it's a, it's a game between handling and uh, technological solution. Um, hold on, it's all right. Uh, here we started to ex explore how can we have better performance with the Tubal. One of the ideas was, of course, using carbon, uh, conductive carbon black, and the result was better, I think, Yes, this is ABS 0.5, this is ABS 0.3% of Tubal, and the results were much better. So that was our first play, or our first product. And later we said, all right, let's, let's uh, skip the compounding, because it's a, it's a process that I don't think we will have a, a big advantage over other solution beside the fact that we are using our flick with as a material. And we said, all right, let's take a powder polymer from the reactor without grinding, and let's have a dry mix, which we know how to do during the years. So we took the flick with, again, proven technology, and we use it in our high shear mixing tools. And we will try to, to explain a little bit better. And the idea was to, to have free-flowing, dust-free polymer base with the two ball inside. The first product we made was uh, for a pipe manufacturer, uh, HDPE. Um, we use 0.5%. In the meantime, we reach 0.2%. We supply the final compound as a powder. They can use it as in their uh, compounder, straightforward, without using any compounding before that. Uh, and that was good. Uh, do a good starting point, let's say, to make sure that this solution is a proven and a good one. In the meantime, we are challenging between the mechanical properties and um, conductive properties, but this, is, this will be always the tango between uh, the, the, um, using the Tubal as a final product and us to make the product. So this is a challenge we are facing now. Next one is a polyamide, and we use 0.2%. We find out that that will be the best achievable conductive uh, material. We use the liquid without it, additive, and we supply to our customer a blend, a compound blend to their uh, machine. The results were very good, and then we tested uh, 4% of Tubal, and then the customer made his uh, dilution. So we use our compound as a master batch, and it diluted to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and the result, until now, very promising. This is not good, but this is better. Now we, we went and we wanted to see how can we incorporate colors 
and, and, different, and, and different materials. So we, we tested this, uh, uh, what's the name? Polycarbonate. Polycarbonate material, uh, that will be our reference. We make sure uh, that us, we need to have a better performance. And now we took um, the two ball, 0.1%, use our liquid in the polycarbonate and reach really nice uh, values. In this demonstration, we put it on the transparent polycarbonate just to get the effect of how it will be look. And we got to a semi-transparent, the photo is not so well, but I think I have better one later on. We did the same with a blue dye, uh, just a little bit of blue dye, 0.15. Fliquid, again, was the base of everything, and, and we got a better result with 0.1% um, of tubal, which is, was encouraged us to continue. We did the same with, a, yeah, uh, with an orange dye, same percentages, relative the same measurement, and we wanted to see if we can get a color that will change this. And the yellow dye a little bit uh, um, surprised us. Difficult to say, we need to repeat this, but if we measure that to an orange dye, we definitely can see the different values in the conductivity. And this encouraged us again to continue and look for new areas. When we did basic isod impact test, we found out that there is a different, uh, but according to our knowledge, this is in, in the boundaries of possible and could be down to the tubal, could be down to the pigments itself. So it's, it's all right. Last, uh, we tried to make a piano black. We call piano black for uh, the housing of electronic around the TV or different uh, devices where conductivity is needed for anti-static. Uh, I don't know if the picture is quite well in my screen is better. It's almost as a mirror, so so beautiful black, pitch, pitch black. Uh, we, did, we made a sample, uh, two millimeter thick, 0 0.1, a little bit of con conductive carbon black. Later on, we will definitely add different ingredients with our liquid base, and we got to really nice uh, result, almost the end. Um, this is where we want to share what else do we want to do. Uh, we are, we don't have a, a huge R&D center, but we are very practical. We like the industry, we have a big interest in technology, and we keep moving this circle uh, with our customers, with our suppliers, and uh, we keep motivate ourselves, so our next test will be on an uh, inline dry uh, milling technology, uh, which looks to be very interesting. Uh, mixing tool, we're going to try various speed, various direction, various uh, temperatures, and, and naturally additives, uh, some additive to control this. Last slide, two product, compound and powder based on the liquid. I think we we understood that we can reach uh, to a good conductivity with 0.1 in different polymers. Uh, the impact was remain high or remain all right, and transparency uh, was achieved. We have some samples here. We like people to challenge us. We like to develop together with our customers, and they can be from everywhere. And I think it is something we like. So I would like to thank you uh, for this short, straightforward presentation. Thank you very much. Welcome. So maybe we have one question before we go to lunch from the audience about Fliquid. Very catchy, by the way. Yes, yeah. we like it. Thank you very much. OK, so maybe you will have discussions at the lunch. Thank you very much. Big applause. Thank you. Thank you.